Hi everyone, how are you today? Today I'm going to attempt to do the throwback makeup challenge tag. I hope I've gotten that right. I've seen this going around YouTube quite a bit the last few months, maybe the last year. It's been going around quite a while but I've never actually got around to filming this. And well, the reason that I want to do it now is because me and my mum have been looking through all of our old makeup, trying to like declutter things. And I've just been having a little look at some of the old makeup that my mum keeps. And it's actually stuff that I used to wear back in the day before I got really into makeup. And I found a photograph which I'll actually use as the clicking picture for the video. But it's on going on the blog in the next couple of days, so you'll see it on there as well. And I look quite frightening, <laughs> really. It's very pale makeup and, well, not blended in at all. No contouring, no brows, which actually frightens me and makes me a little bit sick now. But <laughs> I've tried looking for makeup that I have that I could recreate that look for you guys. And just see how my makeup has changed over the years and I'm looking at how old some of this stuff is and I've got the micellar water ready to take it off straight away I'm not looking forward to this at all <laughs> but here we go it's gonna be fun either way I mean look at this yeah <laughs> and that I'm really not looking forward to putting these back on my face but it's YouTube, got to give it a go. Back when I was 18, I rarely ever bought makeup for myself. It was always stuff that I got for birthday presents, Christmas presents. I think my mum tried to push me into makeup a little bit when I was a teenager, but back then I just wasn't interested. It wasn't until I got about 21 that the Clinique gate happened. But yeah, if you ever want to see what my makeup looked like back when I was using Clinique, I might do that at another time, but this is back before that. <laughs> Maybe with a little bit of the Clinique gate mixed in. I'm not entirely sure how old that photograph is. So, no moisturiser or anything used to go on my face. It was literally just foundation. And I actually use the Nivea Tinted Moisturising Day Cream, which I do remember actually being too dark for me. And... Um, I used no brushes, it was literally fingers and massaging into the skin and it never actually got blended in past the chin point. I used to always remember my dad telling me that I needed to blend in my foundation. My dad still hates unblended foundation to this day. Luckily I'm better at it than what I used to and I think this is actually less than what I used to use back then. And it used to just get smushed all over the face, regardless of eyelids or anything. So I'm just going to do this exactly how I used to back in the day. And it doesn't look too bad now, but this does oxidise something like crazy. So I will end up getting an orange line here by the end of the video. Yeah. <laughs> My hands are clammy as anything. I hate it. I hate using my fingers for foundation now. Okay, so next, I didn't use to set my foundation. This was it. I then just went in with blush. And I couldn't find the blush that I used to use back in the day. I think that's actually been discontinued. The closest thing I could find to that colour was from Natural Collections. And this is the shade Peach Melba, which is actually really pretty. I wore this yesterday. It's really nice. And... And then, I think this is one of the few things that I did have a brush for. So I'm going to use one of my more compact blush brushes, which is from Bare Minerals. And I think I used to literally just do that. Oh God, this is, yeah. <laughs> that is pretty much how I used to wear blush. I look like a clown. Excellent. Next up, I, well, as I said, brows were left alone. I was very fair at school, so my brows rarely ever showed up. In fact, there was a joke going around saying that I had no brows. Kids can be cruel. 
and so I just used to go on with an eyeshadow and I think a one that I have is actually a L'Oreal press pigment one you know the ones that are in like that weird tube it looks like an hourglass they don't do them anymore but I do sometimes see them in these discounted makeup places but a colour that I did use to wear quite a bit was lilac and I mean the only one I could find was actually a Revlon eyeshadow called lilac and this has been a bit naughty because I never had makeup brushes for my for me eyeshadow back then but I'm gonna have to because I don't want to keep the eyeshadow stick things you know those horrible sponge applicators that you get in palettes that's what I used to use and then my mum actually got me a Ruby and Millie eyeshadow brush once for Christmas and that's what I use ever since and this is gonna make me cringe as well <laughs> Because this was literally, woo, like that. No blending, just smush it onto the eyelid. Okay, and the next bit is really making me worry because I'm really hoping this isn't going to set my eyes off. This is not my mascara, this is my sister's. And look how old this is. I think everybody used this mascara back in the day. It was just what everyone used. And, oh God, it's... Unfortunately, that did open. I was hoping that I was going to get away with just wearing another mascara. But I just remember me, my mum and my sister all used this mascara. It's It was good back in the day, but obviously mascaras got better. And we discovered new things. But, yeah... I'm dreading, wondering how old this is. This could be 10 years old, for all I know. So this is quickly going onto my eyes and then, for God, like, as soon as the video is over, it's getting taken off my face. And... Back in the day, I never used to put anything on my lower lashes. In fact, I hardly ever put anything on my top lashes. That was it. I used to be terrified of putting stuff on my lower lashes. I used to think I was going to put myself in the eye. There we go. You can hardly see anything. I think the mascara's actually dried up a little bit. Thank God. But I rarely ever put that much on my eyes anyway. So that was it. Can you actually... Yep, yeah, and it doesn't matter about any of those little smudges. I used to just leave them. Yeah. How many people are cringing at that? Okay, and to finish the look, I wore nothing but this lipstick growing up. No other lipstick existed until about when I moved to London. This is all I used. And in fact, I recently repurchased this a couple of years ago because I did love that lipstick so much. But this is Clinique's Baby Baby. And it's still such a pretty nude colour. It's so glossy and beautiful. This is just so different how I wear my makeup now. Okay, so I know this wasn't a tutorial, but I'm going to come up closer and actually see the makeup. What do you think, guys? Have I improved? <laughs> it just feels so weird not having my eyebrows on or any concealer or powder set in this. I mean, this feels so sticky. <laughs> it's unbelievable how did I go around wearing this as a teenager and oh it's not showing up on the camera but yeah pale skin orange starting to form this is already starting to oxidize I don't know why I wore this at school it was such the wrong color but I just don't think I knew better back then but anyway, that is the throwback makeup challenge. I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you next time.